I'll just show you what's happening in the bedroom. They're like ice. The ladders. <laughs> yeah. Now that's a big fish. That's bloody moby. <laughs> that's the most expensive fish butty I've ever had in my entire life. It was nice. Look, <laughs> you know what you look like? A mermaid. <laughs> a new vlog. I'm going to try the new coffee bags today. I opened them yesterday when um, Peter and Elaine came around because Elaine likes black coffee. Um, I think black coffee is too strong. I have to have milk in mine. So I still don't know what these taste like but they were from Tesco. I think you wanted only £3.50 for 20 bags. I thought we were going to say PG tips on it then. Um, they smell nice, that's for sure. You could be careful not to uh, tear them. So we'll see what that tastes like. Whilst that toast is toasting, or well that bread is toasting, should I say. I'll just show you what's happening in the bedroom. Not much exciting this time, right? <laughs> Nick's um, looking at instruction manuals for something else that's broken. So that's the dishwasher, the boiler, the roof, the extractor. Look at that. Now the blind. Lovely blue sky out there today, though. We need to go out and experience some nice fresh weather today. You'll be lucky. But we have to try. Oh, my phone's ringing. We have to try fix this blind which will now no longer open right telescopic ladders ready huh? telescopic ladders ready how are, you, how are you gonna get them up there after that uh -huh. uh -huh. that side and up uh -huh. right so before we can go anywhere hopefully oh no let's see, hopefully this blue sky is blasting but it doesn't look like it's gonna last I was hoping to get out while the sun was out. Maybe even get the roof down on James. But the grey clouds are inbound. So anyway. <laughs> Star screwdriver. <laughs> uh, not the ratchet one the same. So there we go. That'll do. So I think he's gonna try and get the cassette electric cassette off that one, put it into the kitchen where we don't use it so that we've got one that was working in here. Then I'll have to figure out how to uh, fix the kitchen one. Mm, 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 mm. Whatever. They're like ice. The ladders? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, wait a minute. I need to... I can click. Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. Ladders on the top so it doesn't mark the ceiling. It'll be alright if I can actually get foot pillars. Right. Ooh. Just come down. Yeah. Wait a minute. Right. That looks sturdy. Get your set up then. Right. <laughs> I need something for my feet because it, it. We'll put my slippers on. No, I'll put my shoes on. Right, go for it. Is that secure? Oh, it's use out of these ladders, haven't we, so far? So far, yeah. Great. So somewhere here... Oh, be careful with the blind. I'm afraid you can't help that. Oh, wait a minute. There's something here. Managed to get it open. Nick's tried to fix it, but it was working. Now it doesn't seem to be. Hmm. Maybe there's a... A trigger on this. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. There's a there's an activation switch. Presumably it's a it's a cutoff switch. Pass me screwdriver. Which one? This one? Uh yeah, that'll do. We've been through many screwdrivers and none of them fitted apart from one. Lots of uh, little dead flies and spiders have come out. 
what do you want that then? One. Yeah, that, that one. one. That one. I think there's an activation switch which is cutting it off. Just gotta let these strings tighten. I think there was a knot. Problem is I've torn the blind a little bit on this side. Well, as long as you can't see it. Well it should be it should be inside the groove. Now it's always made this clicking sound. Yeah, as you can see, the very slow um, opening and closing. But at least it's not the motor, and we know that. Can you pass me the cover for the wiring? Bloody sun's gone. Look, gone. Well, it's quite dull out there now. It's going to rain. Fixed. Well, I had, but I've just popped the blind out of the groove. But it's fixed in well, theory. I'm just hoping it's going to go back in in a second. Yes, done. Right. Done. Right. We need to tidy up and make this bed. That's saved another 300 quid. Right. Blinds done. Another half, uh, an hour and a half later, we had another problem, but we fixed it. Um, so we'll just clean the window. It's a very exciting day. Lots of mould around. It's winter, like black mould. Winter mould. You see the. So we're having to get rid of all that. And then we'll make the bed, finally, and at then, about two o'clock in the afternoon. And then we're going to go out somewhere. Now Nick's hoovering the um, blind to get all the bits off. Just for dust. All ready for summer when it gets to be about 35 degrees in here. And we have to have the uh, windows open. That mesh, um, you may have seen, if you've not seen, Nick made that to go over the, cur uh, sorry, over the um, windows so that we can have it open in the night um, while we're sleeping without all the spiders coming in. Right, we need some Sif. Sif lemon cream to clean the windows with. Clean the uh, handles, handles or something. What is it you're doing? Handles? The handles. I can do with a steam cleaner actually. Well, I can't provide you that, I'm afraid. I wasn't selling for 30 quid, I did look the other day. Steam cleaner for what? The actual window? To get rid of all the, like, the black mould in the corners of windows and things like that. Mm. Well, here's some sift for you. Well, that's for the handles, but... And then we're going to tidy around. Might make the bed at some point today. Um, Nick's... Uh, sorry, uh, my sister brought Nick this for Christmas. Sort of a toolbox thing, and one of my tasks today is going to be sort this bottom drawer out, although I'm sure I've sorted this bottom drawer out many times on the vlog. Um, I want to put some of his tools in here um, and then we'll either keep it behind the sofa or up there. We're all back to normal. Bed made, moulded, removed off there, mould removed off there, hoovered, blinds now fully working again and I've managed to clean it while I were up there as well and I've hoovered the bedroom floor. And Lee is tinkering about in here, filling up this toolbox that I got for Christmas. I hope I can find everything and you don't, because I know what you, you're like, I'll say, where's this? And then you'll say, no idea. I know what, I'll say, it's in your toolbox, go and have a look. Don't be throwing anything away though. Not throwing anything away, now you've finally got a bits box. I'm just going to put the sift back up here and then we're going to go. You haven't had a bits box for a long time. Well, no. never had a bits box here. And it also gives me more room in there. To fill it with shite. Which I'll sort out and I've got that to do. And the washer's just finished as well, so we've got to sort that out before we Right, go. come on, because I want to go to file and I want fish and chips. Well, no, I want a fish butty. Right. Um, Should we go to that one that we, we went to last time that we're on like, like, like four quid for a fish butty? I don't know, I can't remember. I do. I'm thinking about jobs. Come on. Right, we're in the car. We're on our way to file for. Um, Fish dinner. Fish dinner? Fish dinner. Is that like a fish supper <laughs> that your grandma used to do? Yeah. We're offer a, um, a fish butty each. And just to chill, maybe hopefully it's a little bit warm, we can have a, a, a mooch on the beach. I'm sick to the back teeth now when things breaking at the lodge. Although it's quite it's quite nice doing something like maintenance-y and DIY-y. Ignore the bumping, we're in James again. Um, 
I'm sick of things breaking because so far now we've had the roof leaking, which is still not repaired. I'm just waiting for it to see if, whether it gets any worse. We've had the boiler expansion vessel gone. We've had the extractor van gone. We've had the dishwasher gone, and we've now had the um, ex the blind uh, has gone. But I've managed to fix that. Um, I can confirm that it's not warm. It's freezing outside, but we'll still go for a walk anyway. We could have had the roof down because the heaters in games are really good actually. I right. can confirm as well, my mum phoned me this morning um, saying that they are going to come to the Airbnb with us for two nights next week. Um, so Let me make sure that they're going to bring cozies to get in the hot tub. Well, I've, I've told them there's a hot tub. Well, if not, they'll just have to fetch me glasses of Prosecco. Um, and it's close by to Liverpool. Well, ish, isn't it? Ish. I think we're, we're, because we've been to Liverpool, we think we're going to go and explore Southport because we've never done that. And it's apparently got an old town thing. Well, I wouldn't mind going to the um, docks as well in Liverpool because we've got two days there, I think, haven't we? We'll see anyway. and we literally are, literally are here only for a fish butty soundworm. Let's find a nice place to get in. Seems to be a lot of things closed. Yeah, there's one place out season, isn't it? There's one down here on the right hand side. I like this shop, it's massive. It drops, it goes to about 10 different shops and cuts that corner off. Uh, well, we'll go through that when we come back. Oh, we'll have gander. Right, so we're in CJ's fish and chip shop. What are you pointing at? Oh, it's not fish. It's not on there. They never put fish no, butters on menus. Do they fish and chips? That oh my god, they do fish fingers and chips. Yeah, I do like it when they have uh, an array of sauces. Uh, so we're just waiting for it to uh, arrive, and then we'll let you know what it looks like. Now that's a big fish. That's bloody moby. <laughs> yeah, still looking forward to this one. I like the nautical theme that they've got going on in here. It's got a, uh, a lemon. I've got a nut, pip, whatever they call them on yeah, the lemon seeds. You got them all over, please. I, know. Place. I want to see what the uh, fish is like inside. Like it's not, mine's not prepared yet. It needs to be drowned. Looks very good. What's it like, Gannett? Put it for a look out. Think that fish is. What's the curry like? Mm. Was it the same as yesterday? Really exactly sweet. The same as yesterday, quite sweet. So we've gone from total current TK to, to um, fish, fish. Yeah, um, but the di is. fish digest really easily. Yeah. Right, we're just going to move the car because we've only got one hour on it, so we're going to move it further down the road and then hopefully walk down to the beach, see if we can get on it. I'm stuffed, really stuffed. Actually. You want to be stuffed for that cost. It was £24 for two fish butties, one curry sauce, two cups of tea. We thought it was quite expensive, that actually. That's the most expensive fish butty I've ever had in my entire life. It was nice. Um, wants to be bloody nice for that price. But I wouldn't go back. Neither would I. Wouldn't go back, but it was nice. So it was night when we, when we when we came here just after lockdown. It was like a fiver for a fish butty, and we sat and eat it in the garden over there. Twenty four pound for two fish butties. <laughs> Jesus Christ! They were a bit very rushed as well and a bit unfriendly. But um, yeah, she was a little bit rude actually when I asked for a receipt to, to <laughs> literally for the breakdown. She went, she went, what a till receipt, and I went yes, and she went, Ooh. <laughs> like we'll get it right then, love. Uh, but um, it was nice, but I'm a little stuffed. Right, let's move the car. The daffies are almost ready for sprouting. For flowering. Snowdrops are out. Yeah, a lot of daffies here. It'd be nice if, if we had them all on the hump at the side of the lodge, wasn't it, actually? No, because it'll just attract well, rabbits and things. And, and bees. And well, not wrong with bees. And bees are good for you. Well, not good for you, but I good, good for the planet. I wonder why daffodils grow at this particular time of year. Why do they know? How do they know? It's not like they've got a calendar, is it? They just almost sprout at the same time. I don't know. I wonder if it's because... Google it. They um, they sprout when they've detected frost. Do you know, okay. and then it warms up. No. I don't know. Let us know if anybody knows. Nice looking beach today. Looks very choppy out there. And the sea. The beach, when we saw the beach at Saltburn, when it was a, it was a day like this, wasn't it? Uh, when we went into the Airbnb last year in that little with that log burner, and then we went to oh the yeah. beach on the way back. That's about a year ago, actually. Yeah, I was thinking about, about that, that this morning. Um, I always think that UK beaches 
are missing a trick. Like if this were an American beach, there'd be like beach bars and places to get food. Not that Only need- if you were in Florida, not at this time of year. Well, if you went up north in America and it was this cold well, yeah, and you went but, to a beach, it'd be just as deserted as this. Well, maybe. I guess this is as far as we're going. Yeah. It looks like a Cornwall beach with those choppy waves. It does waves. actually. I always like Filey Beach. I mean, look how, um, look how much beach you always get. Even the tides in. I mean, the yeah. tides in now. This is like yeah. normal. You always get a, a lovely big beach here and then they get all this space here. Um, you still wish there were an ice cream van? Uh, no, because I'm stuffed. Oh, I'm freezing. I'm stuffed from that, that fish sh sh thing. Fish butty. Fish and ships. <laughs> I think it were Fish actually ships. the uh, cup of tea, which I downed really quickly. Was tea, because I've got the same stomach ache. Um, so I can remember when we did uh, geocaching on there with Batty Brenda and yeah. my mum and dad. Yeah, his hands in that yeah. slopped up yeah. side to find it. Geocaching. We've not done that for a while. In fact, they found one up in the Filey Centre, and they were getting very excited. Yeah. You're a bit cold. Freezing. Hurting, hurting your face. It's hurting. <laughs> Should we got the hood on? Oh. It's so cold. In fact, it's steamed up. What? The camera's got steam on it. That's the... That's, oh, yeah. <laughs> has it? Yeah. Has it? Yeah, yeah. it has. Because it's so cold outside, we've got in the car. I want to move. And there's breath. To a country that stealing. doesn't have winters. I'm sick of winter Steaming. now. I'm sick of it. Sick you of wanted it. to come to Filey on a freezing cold well, day. You can't just sit in your house, can you? Just because the sun's out doesn't mean to say it's warm. Bleeding it's freezing. absolutely Baltic. So we're going to head back to the lodge. I'm trying, are we going to go to the pub? We might do, yeah, I think. Might have a uh, lime and soda. I've not had any alcohol. Well, I tell a lie, I had some yesterday. Did you? In the other pub. Oh, we I yeah, I think, yeah. So, I might have another pint, actually. Mm. Right, we're in a pub. We're going to be quick because there's music playing. It's a very um, traditional pub and there's a nice fire. Please doing a bit of blog work. Back at the lodge, just editing. <laughs> What's going on for you? I'm going to get warm. <laughs> Do you want a nice cup of tea? Yeah, Earl Grey, thanks. Do you, want a, do you want a skinny whip? So Earl Grey is Nick's favourite at the moment. Um, so I got these from, can you Aldi? Yeah, Aldi. Um, I think, did it tell you on there or not? This is what Nick says, I must have Googled it. Um, no, it doesn't say, but apparently, Earl Grey is good for your stomach. Is Earl Grey good for your stomach? I'll ask him when I go in. Is Earl Grey good for your stomach? Apparently it's good for your stomach. And as we all know, Nick has IBS. So, ooh, everything's bust by the looks of it. Um, what shall I have? Um, do -do 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 -do, I love a nice pure green tea. And then, um, not quite as stuffed now, so I might have one of these. It's a shame we haven't got any of the Snickers one left. I think we have anyway, because they're my favourites. They're my favourites from... Um, oh, there's a Galaxy one left, though. Uh, yeah, I'll have a Galaxy one instead from Aldi. And they want to skinny it. Um, the chocolate one. Doesn't time fly. I remember, it only seems like a couple of years ago I got this mug for my birthday when I was 40 years old. And this year I am 47. I know you wouldn't believe it, I know. But, um, it only seems last year I got uh, 40. Friggin' I'll be needing one of those. It took 50 years to look this good before long. Speaking of 50 year olds. <laughs> we st I stink of fish and chips. Well, don't be stinking bedroom out. Yeah, but like literally, because we sat in there for so long, because she took so long to serve us as well. Literally, I smell like I've worked in a fish and chip shop for about a week. You look, <laughs> you know what you look like? A mermaid. <laughs> oh, because it's spread out of bottom. Yeah. Um, is it still working? Yeah, I've just tested it again. Yeah. Shall we have a guess what you're watching? How well did you know Lieutenant Astor? Next Crossroads. Gen. Crossroads. Show your age there. Hmm. Get that camera turned off. How's your bath going? Hot. And <laughs> it's, steamy. It feels hot in here. Hot and steamy. Is it helping you feel better? It's not helping my stomach, no. No. Might have a brandy. No. Brandy does settle your stomach, doesn't it? It does. Might have a nap now. Tired? 
I mean, I'm going to steam hot water, yeah. <sighs> so, Nick is out of the bath and his stomach is very bad. So, he suggested going for a McFlurry might help. I'll have a brandy later. When we get back. Your guess is as good as mine. McFlurry is smooth, cool, creamy, relaxing. That's yeah. my theory anyway. And it'll pr promote and produce lots of dopamine in your in your and yeah. serotonin and stuff like that. I'll just have a uh, brain. Cadbury's milk chocolate bar for that if I want one. Well, we ain't got them, so we're going for a McFlurry well, instead. I'm having a Maltese <laughs> McFlurry. Um, and um, just a little tip and a hint for you guys, because you may be aware that a lot of McDonald's McFlurry machines break down. They don't break in down. In evening, or Nick, they claim Nick that they don't clean them or something. I've read this before. They claim that they're not working tonight. What they mean is they turn them off at six o'clock because they're a pain in the ass to clean, and it takes them a couple of hours. So the McDonald's that I don't know whether all McDonald's are twenty-four hours, but the ones that aren't basically shut it off early so they get a chance to clean the machine but they always say that it's not working tonight so anyway and, and as i was saying wait a minute there's a website that lets you look at the mcflurry machine status as worldwide so you can see so how tip. many machines are actually offline in the uk right now to see how many branches are doing it so hello to any mcdonald's workers if you can confirm whether nick's um, theory is bullshit or, or real that well they're not going to admit it are they <laughs> well it's anonymous and couldn't in um, YouTube comments. Anyway, my tip was get the McDonald's app on your phone and check if you can order a McFlurry before you set off. Uh, like I just did as we were just setting off, so I've ordered two multiple <laughs> McFlurry. Is still on. Well, you'd think they wouldn't allow you to order it and pay for it, which I have done. Well, you haven't. You haven't checked in. That's when it charges your card. Oh. This seat's burning my ass. Can you turn it down a bit? Well, it better be um, working the McFlurry machine when I get there. Hey, what can I do? Hi, yeah. I've got a collection code. Yep. AW12. Cheers, thank you. Sorry. Yeah. Ooh. So they're in Galaxy um, Cab or Totals, but they're not Galaxy. They're actually McFlurry. Uh, not McFlurry, it's Mini. <laughs> Does the it matter? Maltesers. Does it matter? The Maltesers, that's what I want to say. Maltesers. Why is there a Google bus there? Google bus? Oh, what's this? Made by Google. Hey Google, how long will it take me to get from. I don't know. Okay, so can never even see before. <sighs> if I could have been bothered to take that back in, I would have done. But I couldn't be bothered because it was very busy. It's still very busy, it wasn't it? It was like fluffy whipped, <laughs> half melted <laughs> snot. So I ate it fast. It had obviously been out a while. That, that was probably because we did it that app. So next time I'd just go. So. Thanks for commenting on our videos, guys. We're going to do some comments today while we're sat in the car. Got some stuff now. And, um... We're going to need Mini McFlurry as well, by the way. Matthew, Mc Matthew Murphy says, Enjoy this new vlog, guys. Try watching better on iPlayer. Setting leads, it's really good. There's a train going by. That's nice. Um, better. Never heard of it. Me neither. Tuzan says, Andy, like you, Nick, love seeing... Um, filming locations and shows. We stopped off at the Shetlands on a cruise and he had to go to the place the main character lived at. What main character? I don't know. You've not said Sue. Oh, well, thanks for your comments. <laughs> thanks for your comments, Sue. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm sure it makes sense. Val says, haven't been there for donkey's use, which means Hebron Bridge. We'll definitely have to go back. Is that anti-Val? Yeah, may wait till it gets a bit warmer, though. Yeah, that's... That's, that's wide. I'm just going to go and flick Stop. down. Gina Ho says, great vlog guys, thoroughly enjoyed this trip. Uh, what was the trip? That was, oh the Happy Valley one. Happy Valley one. Let me, I'm trying to get some different ones, other than Happy Valley. There's a lot of comments on that there one. Is, Stop. Uh, there we go. We drunk the world, the wolds. Um, Kay Noonan says, first time I've seen this made me laugh so much. That's the one with your mum in. Yeah. Uh, and we drunk the wolds around um, the wolds pubs. Bloody battery went. Just as I was about to do another one. So I'm not going to do another Stop. one. Nick's going to do another one. Um, this one is from a Vlogmas 2019 video Ooh. in February. Somebody re watching Somebody's it. Somebody's re watching it, yeah. <laughs> uh, Stephanie Billy says At the movie theatre that I work at in Calgary, we have regular recliner seats. We have premium seats too where the seat heats up and they have shelves to put your stuff in. They also recline back and forth. We have alcohol at the theatres in concession as well. Mm. Uh, depends which cinema you go to over here. Some are really good, some aren't. The one um, near our old house where mum and dad are. They are really nice, really um, luxurious, really comfy. But you don't get any food. Well, apart from your popcorn and stuff like that. Um, if was you it? Go... 
was it Everyman that I had that in Leeds artichoke in the dark? Yeah. And I was eating this it was sour, dark, and I was like, "What the hell am I eating?" We I couldn't a see it. Meal, yeah, but it was dark, so we were just like eating things. We weren't sure what it was. That one we went to see the first Jurassic World film. Um, but I've never been in a UK cinema where you get heated seats. No. Although Calgary isn't that a cold place. Yes, but not inside the cinemas. Well, no, that's true. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, right, okay. Uh, Nikki S says, I can't believe you was down the road from me. That was in which video? Hebden Bridge, by any chance? <laughs> Christ. Uh, yes, the Happy Valley video. Scroll One stop. One mark. Uh, Lindsay Lodge says, the car park is from Last Tango in Halifax. We were, um, oh, yeah. parked his, where uh, Alan parked his car mm -hmm. when he met Celia. Yeah. Now, I'd seen it before we did the video, and then it was a couple of days later that we started watching the first episode again, wasn't it? Of Happy uh, Valley. Uh, and then you said, is that that car park? Yeah. And I went, oh my god, that's where I'd seen it. So we kind of realised it a week after we'd filmed that video. So we didn't carry on watching The Last Tango in Halifax. We've seen it before, but... It's, um, we've just been spoilt with Happy Valley. Yeah, I think so. It was too it was too tame and, and cosy feeling. After Happy Valley, we were like, wanted something. We weren't anxious enough. More. No, so uh, we might go back to it at some point. Get us back to the I'm lodge. I'm doing my hair now, because I've been in the, in the Get bath. Get us back to the lodge. Right, come on then. Welcome to the next day. We've got to finish the vloggers night, so we're going to finish it today. Nick's making it a little bit of um, ready break. We've got no Biscoff put in it. How can that happen? You sure? Yeah, can't find it. Unless you've put it in this cupboard. It's not down there, is it? Um, well, you tied it, didn't you? So God knows where it could be, but I can't find it. Not like us not to have Biscoff. No, I don't get it. Is it not that? Uh, it's not there. What's this? Mm, chocolate, spread. chocolate spread. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. So. Well, we're having the um, cinnamon bee thing. Okay. Nick's going to finish the vlog. Bye for now, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. It's a very old joke. Um, do you want? Um, is this? Is it? Do you want milk in this coffee bag thing? Bubbling. Yes. Has it been? Has it been filtering and well, brewing for three minutes? Right. Let's finish the vlog. If you're new to the channel, guys, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell. Don't forget to leave us a comment below. We review all comments and um, we'll be back on the next one. Haven't decided what we're doing yet. Probably gonna go somewhere in James with the roof down. Bye. Well, it is nice and sunny. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.